I'm actually a painter uh, and I have a background in furniture and woodworking. Um, but my sort of schooling was in painting uh, and, and drawing. And so now I've kind of done sort of mixed media installations and that's where filmmaking comes from, is a part of sort of these broader, bigger mixed media installations that I'm working on. Hallucination Dream Sequence is a film uh, composed of vignettes, I would say, and emails. Uh, the emails are a conversation between two people about sort of stages of going to sleep. And the sort of animated vignettes are uh, drawings that I made and uh, used a process called data bending to animate them. So I think the film here in particular came from a bunch of different things, but I was mainly not getting enough sleep because I had a very young daughter. And so I started having sort of visual hallucinations a little bit. And so I started thinking about like how I could talk about that through images and no sort of static image sort of would suffice.
Um, my creative approach, uh, actually, it may be easiest to talk about it in terms of another film called La Jete by Chris Marker, uh, which I think most people consider a photo montage film. And so I was thinking about how to use static images to tell sort of a st story, maybe not narrative in the traditional sense, but some sort of like sequence of images that I could tell a story with. The uh, drawings and images are generated by uh, painting with gouache or using markers and ink on paper. Uh, and then I photograph the images uh, using a DSLR camera and import them into a, a music editing software called Audacity. And you can manipulate images in Audacity. So I use sort of music effects to uh, manipulate the images. Yeah, I do think uh, I consider the audience and how they sort of play into my work or how they view my work. Um, I, and it's one of the actually pretty interesting things about like doing film uh, that's new to me in the sense that there's, to a certain extent, when you're making visual art, you can make it sort of with some sort of understanding of what the viewer is going to do, but put it out there and there's this sort of blanket acceptance of it being art. Uh, and filmmaking is different than that. And I don't ever know that I'll consider myself a full-fledged filmmaker, um, but I certainly would like to understand that culture and what people expect in terms of viewing films and, and how they sort of contribute to Iowa or the city of Des Moines or, or sort of on a broader national level.